Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to Shots Life. This week, we're working on the 2005 American Eagle. We do some chrome work. We put the plates up underneath the bottom. We do some shocks and all around, and we do airbags in the rear. Shocking episode. Stick around. <laughs> I'm stupid. <laughs> Welcome to my life. All right, so it's been a really good couple days. We've got the hydraulic system working, which is really awesome. I uh, also got some new chrome on the back. That was just kind of a last minute project that I wanted to get done. It's been warm. Just wanted to look nice. That old stuff was just terrible. So I got that done. I'm gonna take this sticker off because it's just driving me crazy. I don't know why there's a sticker there. Uh, but the, the, the main project today is to get up underneath there and put the new, or new, the skid plates on, not new. Uh, I got some new bolts <laughs> because those were so rusted out. But I got to get up in there and get the uh, ones that broke off out. Um, hopefully some brake free and uh, vice grips will get them out of there. And then I'll uh, take those things back up on there and shoot some new. I also got some washers. So the, the heads are small on them. Uh, so I, I got a bunch of washers too just to kind of hold that plate up on there a little better than, than factory. <laughs> so we'll be working on that. Um, they did have little washers on there, by the way. Um, they just weren't that big. Um, anyway, so uh, I'll get back up there and get that going. I'll time lapse most of that. So uh, that's what I'll be up to. You know, I cleaned those uh, those uh, plates up really nice, uh, sprayed them off and everything, so they're nice and clean. So they're ready to go. <clears throat> I just need to, uh, like I said, get them bolts out of there that I broke off, and then we'll put this back up. It'll be nice under there because the bus is nice and high right now. Um, you know, again, as long as I stay out from underneath the transmission and the front front suspension, uh, I'll be just fine because if it falls, I mean, it, it won't get me. Uh, there's plenty of room under there for me, so that's what I'm going to do. All right, let me get to work. So that actually went real well. I got dirty just from wearing the jacket. <laughs> anyway, um, that went really well. Um, that thing just went right up in there. It was nice to have that extra space under there, but the uh, the little skid plate just hopped right in there. Of course, I put all new bolts in it, but it uh, looks really good. I just lined it up. Even with the, the uh, ones that were broken, actually worked out well. Um, I couldn't get them out, and but they made little studs to show me where the, where the uh, plates were supposed to sit. So that worked out really nice. Um, yeah, she's all back together now, so that's awesome. I can switch to, uh, I'm going to take the sticker off the back here, but then I can switch to putting on the shocks and uh, airbags uh, coming up. I've got to uh, go help a lady out. I'm cutting a road in. Uh, her heel used to go out and straight down, and now it got, I've cut in a road, a little trail, so it comes out and around and then takes a nice gradual way down the hill. Uh, maybe I'll take the camera down there and film some of it this afternoon, but that's what I'm gonna be working on this afternoon for. Um, I'm gonna take this sticker off here, it's driving me crazy. So that's what I'm gonna work on next after I get cleaned up. And every time I get under there or put that jacket on, I get nasty, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. This week, we're gonna be focused on shocks. Yeah, there they are. Yeah, I got rear and front shocks. I also got the rear air springs that have come in. I think I've shown you that before. Uh, I may get into that, I'm not sure. It's late afternoon. I just got back from mowing my dad's house and we put together a new grill for him. Um, and I got a haircut too, see? Hmm. Anyway, so I just got done doing all that. And uh, so I just got back. Uh, I will show you, uh, yesterday I was putzing around and I uh, used some mother's aluminum cleaner and I cleaned up all the stainless steel on the back here, the muffler and the mud flap, which was, or whatever you call it, the dust flap, which was covered in, uh, I guess diesel, I don't know, it was black. Um, so I got that done. And of course, you know, we, you saw we got the sticker off. So uh, yeah, I was just putzing around yesterday working on that. Uh, but uh, now I'm gonna get under here and get these shops going. All right, stick All right, back. so we're under here underneath the bus. Today's goal, of course, is to get these old shocks off. They have been here, I think they're originals, 
Um, they're pretty rusted out. So I might, I don't know that I'll feel a ride difference. It looks like, yeah, they're pretty rusted out. I don't know. I don't know that I'll feel a ride difference, honestly, because I just haven't driven it this way very much. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and replace them so that I'll have the most excellent ride right out the gate. Um, yeah, all right, so that's the goal. Let me get this going and we'll see if we can get them off. I know I can get the uh, the uh, ratchet up there, but I don't know that I can get it down here. Yeah, ratchet, nah. I did bring a breaker bar there, so that'll work if I can't. So, all right, let me get to work. So I didn't, I noticed that I knocked the camera and then, so it hasn't really been watching, but um, yeah, I must have knocked it pretty good. But I've been working on this dang collar, I couldn't get it off. Um, it wouldn't even move. Um, I, mean, I got it mostly cut open and I uh, just kept cutting on it, cutting on it. Um, and so finally now I got it, I got it to where she's moving. Not moving good, but I'm slowly getting her off. She won't pull off, but it looks like she's kind of unscrewing off. A little at a time, you know. Um, so I get her going like that and then I get a little bit on her and then she gets stuck again. So, but I'll just keep working at it and getting it pulled off there. Sorry about the video. I know it's going to suck. It is what it is. I need, I need the assistant to help me hold the camera when I'm working. That's what I need. It's hard to hold the camera and do the work, you know? And then like that one, it has a stand, but I knocked it so many times it just came off. But you can see it's coming off. I'm going to keep working on it. And I'll try to not knock the camera over all over the place. I'll try to make it so you can see for a bit. All right. Well, it's coming along anyway. I'll check up on you later. So the compressor's pumping up. Sorry that noise in the background, but uh, I got the first shock in. Now I got that off, it was pretty easy. Of course, smashing it down, I use a tie down strap. This time I think I'll tie down strap it outside. Once you get it moving, I can hold, I can push on it. But to get it moving from the very end was, was terrible. So I'll try tie down strap and ratchet it together before I bring it under here and then I'll put it on that way. I think that'll work a lot better. 
But anyway, I got the first one in. Now to get the other one in. We finally have shocks. That was quite the process because the bolts are so rusted out and whatever, but we got them on there. The new one's on there and they're looking good. So hopefully that gives us a little bit better ride in the back end here. The uh, next thing I'll be working on will probably be, I don't know, uh, you know, these rear airbags or I'll go up in front and try to do the shocks up there. Um, either way, whatever. Uh, see bags, I have to jack the truck down and all that. I might just go up and see if I can, uh, do the shocks up front see how hard they're going to be uh maybe work on those um it'd be great if i could get all the shocks done all right so i'm looking at this front one i can't use my roller which sucks because that saves me a lot of energy trying to climb in and out but i, I i'll fit but i'm afraid that if the bus was to drop i'd get crunched there's just not enough room there so i got to go under the old-fashioned way um this is one of those ones that have these shocks the ones that have the bolts on the bottom uh, the smaller bolts on the bottom has the pen that goes through and the smaller bolts on the bottom and then the big bolt on top So I'll start by trying to get the bolt off the top because that's gonna be the tough one Obviously, and then I'll break the ones off the bottom if I get the top one off. So um, There's no room in there. I'm not even sure I can get the gun in there um, ah, Let me get in there and show you what I'm talking about <clears throat> Oh man, it's tight in here. So the bolt up there see you're closer than I am. I'm way out here still the uh, bolt up there is the one I'm going to get on. The other side I can get a wrench on. This side I cannot. I don't know if I can drive it from this side with the uh, uh, power ratchet or the air ratchet or not. Um, but we'll try that. And of course I'll spray the crap out of it with brake free. And uh, we'll go from there. This one's actually worse than the front ones. The front ones weren't, weren't rusted in the, on the tube part. These are. So anyway. I'll... Uh, I'll get working on this thing. Let's see what we can do. Here's the bottom ones though. The bottom ones are these little small ones. So I don't think those are gonna be a problem. Uh, the problem with that would be breaking them actually, but um, all right, well, let's get to it and see what we can get done today. It's already, I think like three something. So it won't be long and the wife will be yelling at me, but uh, I'd like to get the shocks done. I mean, I think I can get these done. So let's get on it and see what happens. All right, let me get to work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ugh.
All right, well, we got the last shock in. The front shocks, they were a little tough because this little bracket down here, let me show you. That's a tough, tough deal. Um, you gotta unbolt these, let, let the tension off, and then unbolt these four, drop it down. Then the whole shock goes through this and then goes back up. And of course, there's a big bolt on top. So you get the dirt off here, make it nice and shiny. I don't know why I'm getting the grease off of it. It'll probably keep it from rusting. And this whole thing's covered in grease under here. Um, but yeah, so new shocks all the way around. That was a great project. I'm gonna get out of here, get cleaned up. I am nasty. And uh, yeah, dinner time. I think it's like six o'clock or something. So uh, let me get everything cleaned up, get all the tools put away, and I'll see you. I don't know. Eagle, and today we're gonna be doing rear airbags. Oh yeah. So we just got doing doing shocks. They were kind of a pain to get off. I assume the bolts are gonna be the same way on this. I'll probably spend more time getting bolts off than I will swapping the stuff out. Anyway, it's the job, so uh, no sense complaining about it. Let's just get on there and get going. I do have the back end jacked up already with the hydraulic jacks. The axle is not off the ground, it's still touching. And I have uh, jack stands underneath there just in case they start weeping off. I don't wanna get crushed. Um, so uh, we're ready to go, I think, safety-wise. And uh, I may move the jacks in front of the axle so I have more room to get around there. I'm not, nah, actually I'll just leave it there. Anyway, regardless, um, yeah, let's get to work. Hey, good morning. Hey, you've missed a lot. <laughs> I uh, did some terrible camera work yesterday. I left the, the time-lapse camera going and my niece showed up. She never comes to see me. So I spent about a half hour, hour with her. And then I got, got to get back on there and then I didn't have the camera going and it was dead because it ran the whole time I was talking to my niece. Yeah, and then I uh, was really in a hurry because I was trying to get the airbag out so that I could go take the new airbag and then that fitting and then go get a new one from the Parker store. And so I ran off to do that, cleaned up, ran off to do that, and they didn't have the fitting. So I rushed for no reason. Um, they can order them, but they're talking, you know, middle of next week or in the next week, whatever. Um, so I'm probably gonna try to pull those. I wish I had pulled that before I took it out. So now I think I'm just gonna take it out and tie it to a tree or something or the trailer or something. And then, uh, then try to break it off because I mean, there's no way I can hold it and break it. I did shoot a, a, a couple of times with brake free last night. I'll shoot it again before I go outside. The next issue is these brackets. I mean, a lot, I've seen a lot of people say they couldn't get those brackets off. You really need to get the air gun from here. So you have to take the tires off to get the air gun on there. So if you were um, in, in a shop, no problem. You can just pull these tires off and then you could just shoot straight and pull them off with a ratchet, which you probably would have done anyway to give you space to get in and out of there, blah, 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 blah. But I don't, with the jacks, the hydraulic jacks that come on the bus, I don't want to take the tires off and I have those jacks holding the bus. You know, even though I have jack stands, um, that's not for me, you know, that's for the pros. They have big lifts and big equipment. I don't have that big of equipment. So I'm trying to determine, I'll go into there and try. I'm going to shoot those with brake free and then I'll try to get those brackets off but I may not be able to. I may just be something they're not in bad shape or anything. Uh, let's see if you can see them. There you go. You can probably see it. I can't see it, but you can probably see it. But they're not in bad shape. I could just wire brush them down and uh, do a little corrosion control and you continue to use them. As a matter of fact, I think they're kind of actually thicker than the ones that come with the new shocks, which is pretty much everything today. You know, you get take something old off and you put something new on, it's always, they always seem cheaper. And I know there's a lot of engineering uh, going into what the minimum requirement would be so they can make things thinner and they're just as strong. But boy, they start, sometimes things don't appear to be the same, do they? Anyway, so um, yeah, so my goal this morning and first thing is to strap this to a tree or something, get that, that fitting broken, broke off there. And then, uh, uh, put the fitting in the in the tank figure out if I can get that bracket off or not I'll give it another whirl now that everything's out of the way uh, If I can cool if I can't cool, I'll just take this bolt off We'll put it in there and then mount her up and then roll. So um, I think we're in pretty good shape uh, And then we'll just start the other side My goal today would be to get the two bags on the back the two bags on the front did come in I haven't opened them yet, but they're the Rayco gaining 
suspension parts that actually come from the Rayco gaining front end suspension. Uh, so that's good. And then uh, my e-trailer box came in. So that means my foot and my four pads are in. And uh, we might get that done today if I get the airbags done. So, all right. Look, I have a visitor. Oh, she's gone. All right, so here's what I found. Next layer. I just strapped it down in the front of that. So it shouldn't be too hard now. There we go. That wasn't terrible. That brake free must have did his magic last night. All right, there we go. All right, so I cleaned it up pretty good. So we can put it in there, but uh, I just need to determine if I'm gonna pull those brackets off or not. I think I'll just go ahead and pull the bolts on that and put those back in these brackets. Uh, I don't know. I just can't decide. I guess I should get up under there and see if I can't pull that bracket this morning. If I can pull the bracket this morning, then I'll pull the bracket. And if I can't get the bolts to budge like I couldn't yesterday, then I'll just pull that bolt, put it up in that bracket that's there. It's really not a big deal either way. It's just, I mean, I have new stuff. I want to put new stuff on. <laughs> I don't like shiny stuff under my bus. All right, so, uh, yeah. And I, and by the way, I did this kind of out of order <coughs> because I need the bus, but I should have pulled the bus out on the gravel and then got up underneath there and spray painted the axle and stuff. Uh, just, you know, did a little corrosion control before I put all this stuff on there. Instead, I'll be in there with the cardboard trying to block the paint from getting on the shocks and blah, 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 blah. But whatever, it'll all work out. It just it would have been a better way. But I'm in a time, time thing. I didn't know what this will take me, and I really want to get these bags on there before I go on this first trip. So that's the deal. The uh, trying to do things in priority, not necessarily the way I, I want. And yeah, it's gonna cause me trouble later, but whatever. Uh, because after I get these done, I really wanna get those front bags on and they're gonna be a pain. Um, so um, that's just kind of the way I'm going about this. What I need to do and then what I wanna do. All right, so I'm underneath the bus and I did just a little bit of corrosion control, just enough to keep it, you know, well, the parts that are going to touch are, are going to have paint above them anyway. Uh, so I'm going to let that dry. I'm going to start on the other side. Um, just like the other side, I'm going to need to take this off. I'm going to break this while it's still connected, uh, you know, and get it loose uh, because that was dumb on the other side. However, it did work out just fine. I mean, I got it. And then I'm going to, um, and by the way, that was because I was going to get new fittings and they didn't happen. But um, so I need to break that and get break the bolt, get the line off, break the, the, uh, the attachment point there for the air and then i'll break the top first unlike the way i did the other one that way when it's uh it's actually i'm pointing this side the bolts on the far side up here over here uh, but that way uh it won't sit there and spin while i'm trying to get it off and then i'll use the air hammer to get the bottom bolt off uh last i did it the opposite way i mean this was easy to get to i just went to town pulled this off by the time i got to the top this thing whole thing's spinning and i'm trying to hold it while i'm trying to get that bolt off the top on the other side so i'll do it the opposite get the bolt that i have to use tools with first and then the air ratchet can just blast the bottom off and uh and then we'll start fitting in the other one once we get this one out uh we'll probably do corrosion control on this side too but we'll fit this one back in when that while we're letting that side dry all right. um all right so let's get this bolt off let's see you're righty tatty left loose oh she's loose she's not tight at all oh yeah she's loose so surprised that wasn't leaking honestly yeah Really surprised me that wasn't Lincoln.
All right, so basically work after working my chicken arms to death. Uh, man, that was a pain. I was caught up in this wheel well between the tire and the wheel well. <coughs> and I got the bag off and it went, Pew! and I was like, that's gonna be cool. And I looked back at my camera and uh, it had fallen. I had kicked it or something and it had fallen on the ground. So I didn't even get a shot of that, which sucks. But um, so basically I got the bag off. Let me get the lead over here. It's just so tight under here, folks. Sorry about the video. Um, you know, I could do it step by step, but that's not really my my gig, right? Uh, but there's the bag, it's off, you know, to, uh, the bolt came through, let her down just fine. And so now I just gotta pop off the bottom bolt with a ratchet, and then we will have this bad boy out of here. Well, I might tell you, this was way faster than the one I did yesterday. Um, of course, you know, a lot of it is, I've been, thought out all the positions that I need to be in uh, for safety and stuff, but. Yes, oh well, that's the right size on there. I had went and got a socket. I doubt I can break this. Ah. Well, we got the ratchet, that's what it's for. So let's get the ratchet going. Get this sucker out of here. Put on my fake eye protection, which is actually my glasses. And uh, let's get the sucker down. Oh, I don't even need that for this. Huh. Yep, have all the right tools under here, and I went and got the right tools. All right, this old ratchet, it's got a bro, it has a dead space in it for years. Ah. But as long as you don't hit it, you usually are all right. It's a lifesaver, I wish I had a uh, hot, we had shot, I need to get a new one and at uh, some point. But you know, you have what you have, you do what you do. So we got her out of there. There's the second airbag. And she's out. So I'll just do a little corrosion control, spray that before I get out. That way it has time to start drying. This was really not bad shape at all. This whole side is better than the other side. I don't know why that would be like that, but um, so we'll get that all <coughs> scraped up and then sprayed. And then I'll get out of here and we'll get the nozzle in the other one and take those brackets off the other ones. And then we'll get under here and line them up and get them attached up in here, hopefully. These are gonna be tough, I think, because they're they're barely gonna fit in this dang thing. Huh. That's wild. Oh man, how do you get that in there? Huh? So I need to lift more. Man, I don't like that at all. I guess I have to lift more though to get that in there. And it looks like quite a bit. So I did let it back down a little bit when I did the air because I just didn't want it to be that high. So I'll go out and I'll get cleaned up a little bit and get the bus uh, running so that I can jack this up. And we'll lift it up a few more inches. I mean, I don't want to go crazy on it. And then we'll come back down here and uh, try to fit it again.
Yeah, see, it needs to go this way a little bit and then in the hole. There she goes. There she goes. All right, hold her there. Maybe you can get her. Now, what I do with the big down? Shoot. Where'd the nut go? Ah, there it is right there. Good bud. All right, let's get my super claws back on here and try this again. Hopefully I can hold it. Ah, come on. Come on, get on her. Uh -uh, get on her straight. All right, good. Good, good, good. Okay, we got her. Let's uh, get the ratchet and hammer down on her. Somebody's under there checking my work real quick. Make sure I did a good job. Is everything good under there, Buffy? Huh? Yeah. I'm not really sure what she's doing under there. Her mom is at the store, so she's confused what to do with just me. I'm boring, I guess. I put her bed there, but she don't want to hang out in it, I guess. Okay, so that's pretty exciting. I mean, it went right back up to Toronto Heights. Everything seems to be working out good. I'm about to slide under here and go check for air leaks, you know, just to make sure. Yeah, I hear something, but I think that valve is open over there too. So I just need to double check for, I'll take my wrench in there. Double check for any air leaks, tighten up anything that needs to be tightened up, and then we'll just go from there, but they bagged up, so that's good. We have airbags. Awesome. Awesome.